even though you sold the company for a million dollars. Yeah, I mean, I had done so many things. I'd sold a company, I had taken a company public. There were so many different things that I did, but when I tried to put that stuff into an application and get admitted into college, I couldn't get into a single place. That's and I, crazy. I, mean, I wasn't applying for computer science or business. I was applying to general studies, just get me into the school, I'll figure my major out later, right? Yeah. And even then, I kept on getting re rejection after rejection after rejection, right? <laughs> One of the most, I mean, it's not like I wasn't down enough at the time. I was already down, right? I'd been like kicked in the groin and punched in the face and then I kept on getting letters from colleges saying that I wasn't admitted into their school. So it was really tough. I went to go see a mentor of mine and this mentor said that you need to take your ego and you need to throw it away. And that would be the only way that I could move forward. So I thought about that and I tried to take my ego away and I started to apply for community colleges. And I got accepted into community college and started from the beginning. So I took intro to business, intro to accounting, intro to economics, and even intro to computers. Even though I'd been working with computers since I was five, I took a computer course that basically on its first test, like made me write, like kind of point to what a hard drive was and what a computer monitor was and what a keyboard was. It was wow. <laughs> pretty weird for me and a little awkward and embarrassing, but I went through it, right? Because I took my ego and I put that ego aside and I said, I'm gonna go to this community college, and I'm gonna get the best grades I can, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna transition, I'm gonna get upgraded into, into, a, um, into a major and, and into a college. So while I was there, I'm in my first semester, I'm in my intro to business class, I have an exam that I take and I end up doing pretty well on it. And the instructor pulls me aside afterwards and says, that when she marked my exam, she thought that I cheated because I did so well on it. And then when she looked at my answer, she realized that actually it would be impossible for me to cheat, so there must be something else. And she looked at my answers and realized that, wait a second, I actually talked about this guy in my class about two years ago. Really? And so she pulled out this newspaper article and recalled that she had shared it with the class a couple of years ago and said, this is an example of an entrepreneur. And it turned out two years later, I'm in her class. <laughs> so she asked me, what the heck am I doing in this intro to business class? So I say, here's why I'm, you know, here's why I'm attending. Here's what I want to achieve. I'm really serious about it. And she said, you know what, why don't you apply to this business school that I went to? And I said, okay, I would, um, I, I'll apply, but I've been applying and no one is accepting me. So she said, why don't you do this? The dean of the school is coming to the city and I've got a ticket to a dinner to see her. And why don't you go in instead of me? So I took the ticket, I went to this dinner and I went there and I didn't know anybody. I put on my best suit, I got there, there were all these old stuffy people and I was sort of by myself in the corner. And I ended up talking to this guy who was by himself, just like me. And we started to have a conversation and then the new dean walked into the room. And when she walked into the room, she walked right up to this guy and said hello to him. And it turned out that this guy was the biggest donor, one of the biggest alum of my school, or of the school, I should say. And so he turned around and said, I want you to meet Raheem. Raheem's this, you know, this, this great person, great entrepreneur, and he's come all the way here to see you. So she said, hi, how are you doing? What year did you graduate? And I said, I haven't graduated yet, but I really want to go to your school. I'm, you know, I've started two companies, one went well, one didn't go well, I really want to go to your school, I think I can make an incredible, incredible contribution. So she kind of looked at me for a second, turned around, grabbed a business card out of her purse, turned it over, write, wrote her cell phone number on it and gave it to me and said, why don't you meet me for lunch at my hotel tomorrow? And uh, we met the next day, we had lunch, and at the end of it she said, I'm going to go to bat for you. And we will do whatever it takes to get you into the MBA program.